Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys a little bit with the Shockwave Totem Chieftain. Uh, so we're currently level 81. Get out of here. Uh, we're currently level 81 and I've done a few slight changes to the build, but so far it feels pretty good. Um, so first thing to start, I don't know if I actually picked up minion damage scaling in the previous uh, one, but I know I talked about it. This minion damage scaling is actually pretty insane. Um, I said before it's 5 points for 79% increased damage, but it's actually 5 points for 89% if you tag in Retribution over here. It also gives you access to scaling your damage via a Bone Helmet, which is just a free, great, implicit, implicit unless you decide to go for, like, uh, a Labyrinth Enchant, which is pretty much always better, but, you know, it's much more of a pain in the ass to get. Um, and it also gives you the ability to craft minion damage weapons, which can actually be extremely powerful and yet again very easy to craft. Um, so my links currently are added fire, combustion, fire pen, shockwave totem, control destruction, and faster casting. Now I did have combustion on a flame golem before, but I'll be honest, it felt clunky, it kept dying, I wasn't really enjoying it very much, so I just dropped it and put it in one of my main links. Uh, if we decide the boss like seriously or something, maybe I'll swap it back, but for right now I'm pretty happy with how the character is. Um, this is a squishy variant of how my build is. I haven't even picked up the Scion Life Wheel yet or grabbed Bloodless, and I'm still using a Tabula Rasa, so this character can easily have like 8,000 life. Um, but I'm just trying to level up really quickly in maps right now, so I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys what the character is like. So I've done a couple other things as well. I'm using Flame Dash as my main mobility skill. Um, this is without quality and not really super high level, so this will get much quicker. Instead of Shield Charge, I decided to use Consecrated Path. It just feels a lot better to me. I know that may seem kind of weird. It's also just kind of fun to use. It's kind of dangerous in like red tier maps, but at the same time, having a slow Shield Charge is also equally dangerous. Um, so I figured this is more for bossing and I'll demonstrate it when I get in there shortly. I also just have a basic phase run just to move around. Um, which actually pairs really well with Consecrated Path. One other thing is that whenever you blink with Consecrated Path, you actually create Consecrated Ground when you blink, um, which is really good because it grants life regen to you, and I believe even your totems, which can also leech. And then I have an Orb of Storms on self-cast, which I pretty much never use because I also have a Castle Damage Taken one, uh, simply at level 1 right here, which triggers off of this Castle Damage Taken, and then we have a manual cast one for bossing. And then lastly put, I have these really bad boots that I need to upgrade, but I just haven't really had the time to do it, and these are just like pretty much leveling gems. Alright, so I'm going to open up a really fucked map here, and I don't know if my character is going to do it. This is actually the first red map oh, I've done. Oh, fusion. But uh, let's go do this spider forest that I found with 46% monster life and endurance charges. So you can pretty much see my build do no damage, and then, you know... That's pretty much about it, right? Okay, so we're gonna be extra careful here. Just to show you how the, um, the Consecrated Path Fortify phase run combo works, it looks a little bit like this. Let's see if I can... So you pretty much immediately consecrate down, and then you just smack your phase run, and you pretty much just outrun everything. Now we do also have our Uber Lab Ascendancy, which gives us Totem Taunt. Oh, I'm supposed to be clicking these, right? Oopsies. Oh, it's an Exile. I also have not set in a Vol skill yet. I'm thinking I'm probably going to use Vol Righteous Fire just for the uh, spell damage boost. These are all of the unique. Melaton. I'm also playing this map, like I said, extremely safe. If I'm doing like yellow tier maps where they're like the mobs hit significantly like less hard, I can go pretty uh, pretty zoom zoom. But These are the not not in this map. Uh oh, that's that's spooky. I don't want to be there. No, thank you.
I actually don't know who the boss is of this, but it's crit. Ooh, it's a little spooky. Who is this boss? Orb of Alchemy. Oh, it's Alira. Alira's super easy, right? She doesn't like do anything except for just fucking tank the world. She is really fucking tanky with endurance charges and 46% monster light. Ooh, that desecrate though. Oh my god. That desecrate. They'll get away from me. I don't want to get desecrated. These are all of the unique. What the fuck was that? I guess I do have minus 48%. Holy shit. Melaton. Once I have, like, more defensive flares, in terms of, like, flasks, uh, I can probably be, like, a lot more aggressive, like I was saying, but, again, this character is designed more so towards, like, being able to sustain the higher-end bosses, having a huge pool of effective health when we get there, so I'm not really too concerned about how this character is at the moment. I guess also, it's kind of spooky for me playing without, like, Temporal Chains Blasphemy on characters like this. But I think another cool thing about builds like this is uh, I feel like they're pretty solid on most layouts. Like, you don't have to worry if you're running, like, a shitty layout map or something because with Shockwave Totem, you're pretty much set. You just literally place the totems and they go bunk, 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 pulse, pulse, pulse. Very nice. a triple essence mob. Uh, I don't know what he's doing, but uh, he's uh, he's killing my totems. Pop, pop, pop. I definitely think the build feels pretty solid though, like I said, um, level 18 gems, and I don't really have like a super good weapon, I have an, a decent weapon, but a shaper crafted weapon is going to be significantly better uh, than what I'm currently using if we had like that, the uh, added fire multiplier on it. Um, and yeah, I mean overall we're going to be aiming towards like 8000 health, I think 8000 health is a pretty sweet spot, I could probably even get more. Um, and I can chip off a lot of these, like, baby damage nodes once we start getting, like, much better gear. Um, like, for example, I could clip off Celestial Punishment here, and we could drop Firewalker. Although Firewalker is really nice for when we start using Wise Oak, um, since Wise Oak is going to give us Fire Pen based off of our Fire Resist. Like, if we have the higher Fire Resist, then we're going to have Fire Pen. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, the character feels really nice. I have to uh, pick up these. If I'm bossing, I'm definitely going to have to pick up where is it? Like, uh, probably Totem Life and Physical Damage Reduction, Life Elemental Resistance, and then Totem Life and Totem Elemental Resistance. Even actually just doing Breaches. The Totems do die very quickly without Elemental Resistance and Breaches. And one of the worst feelings is your Totems getting stunned and your Totems getting uh, chilled. Not just frozen, because chilled, they just are so slow. They like, they're, they're just, they just feel bad. <laughs> they just feel very bad. Um, but anyway, I just want to show you guys a little more of the combo I've been doing, like I said, when I'm not doing spooky maps, is... And this will be really helpful on bosses. So say there's a... <clears throat> say the boss is hitting your totem right now, right? You can literally run up, consecrate, and then flame that. Or, uh, not flame dash, but phase run. And it's, it's so quick. Like, watch this. Like, boom. Like, you're phasing instant, you get your fortify. It feels very, very nice. Maybe a little bit too much work for some people. I'm sure maybe I'll swap it out later, but for now, it feels really fun. And, you know, it's always nice to have a little bit of a change from your typical gameplay. So, anyway, that's pretty much about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, probably be leveling this character along with the Caustic Arrow build. 
um, tomorrow. But if you enjoyed yourselves, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. That's pretty much about it here. So hope you guys had a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everyone.